what is up everybody welcome back to my channel I know it has been a while um, <laughs> pregnancy kind of takes up a lot of your energy and time so I'm back <laughs> so today I decided to film how I straighten my hair I don't typically straighten my hair a whole lot just because I like to keep it natural and I don't like all the heat damage and stuff that comes along with it um, but we are going to a wedding this weekend, so I decided to just film it and show you guys how I do it. So <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, if you would like to see how I got my hair this way, go ahead and keep watching. Record it. So as you can see, my hair, <laughs> all it has in it at this point is uh, a heat protectant. It's freshly washed. Um, I always let my hair air dry. I don't like to add unnecessary heat um, if I don't have to. And I always feel like it just comes out better when I just let it air dry. So yeah, so that's what <laughs> all of this is at the moment. Um, I'm going to start by blow drying my hair, which I'm going to do off camera just because I don't have enough plugs in this area to show you guys. But I mean, it's just basic blow drying I have my hair dryer and I have the attachment that goes on to don't mind that it's broken <laughs> I have the attachment that goes on to the end of the blow dryer dry, bleh, goes on to the end of the blow dryer um, I'm not talented enough to sit there and try to use the hair dryer and the brush at the same time and I feel like this just saves me so much more time anyways so I'm gonna do that and then I will be back to get started all right so here we go all blown out okay so now I'm gonna start straightening it um, the straightener that I use is the bio iconic 10x um, I will link everything down below um, as far as equipment wise but really this is the only thing you need to know about because <laughs> my hair dryer is just like a whatever older hair dryer. I actually need to replace it because I feel like it's low key starting to die on me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, everything else is pretty just simple, like flat brush. Um, like I use clips. Oops. I think that's about it for like my equipment. But like I said, really the only thing you need to know about is the straightener. Um, this was gifted to me like. A little over a year ago my mom got it for me for Christmas because my old one wasn't cutting it anymore um, but this one I love this one this one um, it actually vibrates <laughs> so that's kind of cool um, but I just like that it actually gets my hair nice and like silky smooth and I don't have to keep going over it multiple times just to get it to straighten out um, so it's saving my hair heat damage at the same time uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. I like to section my hair off into four when I straighten it, um, or really I go like one section at a time. Um, and then I like to start from the top. I know some people like to start from the bottom and work their way up, but yeah, that just doesn't really <laughs> work for me. I've always done it this way, so it's kind of just a habit at this point. So let's go ahead and section it. See, I take one quarter of it, and then that's where I start. And if my hands, <laughs> so my hands look a little orange and kind of dark, <laughs> funny story. So, like I said, we're going to a wedding this weekend, and I am extremely pale at the moment. So, I was like, oh, you know what? Like, I have this tanner that I bought last year before the wedding, um, and I was going to actually use it for the wedding, but then I ended up tanning some other way. So, I've had it for like the last year. <laughs> And it's been sitting there and I was like, oh, like, you know what, let me just try it out. Like, I've never self-tanned before. 
so did that last night and <laughs> my hands <laughs> my hands and feet took to it the most and the rest of me is like slightly tan which I guess is okay like I kind of expected more but it is what it is <laughs> it just my hands and my feet are driving me nuts but yeah it's my own fault for waiting until the week of an event to decide to try something new for the first time and something that goes all over my body so yeah and I think it honestly it's really not dark enough for my liking but at the same time I'm kind of glad that it didn't come out as dark as I was hoping because then my hands would have been so much worse <laughs> and yeah as it is I don't know how I'm going to try to hide it I'm hoping that by the time, cause today's, today's Thursday, the wedding is on Saturday. I'm hoping that by the time the wedding comes, they won't be as noticeable and dark. So we shall see. So when I straighten my hair, I use the chase method with the rat tail comb. Um, I just feel that it makes my hair a lot straighter quicker so that I'm not having to go through it so many times um, and it just I don't know it just makes it look better in my opinion Let's see as you can see like I said I haven't straightened my hair in a while I think the last time I actually straightened it was for the wedding so back in June and we're now in February um and my hair my hair used to be so much nicer and it was actually longer I'd been <laughs> trying to grow it out and I was like taking care of it and doing the deep conditioning and all that every week um and doing the collagen peptides and all that and I knew better and I did it anyways and I kept straightening and coloring my hair right before the wedding and a lot of it or a lot of my ends broke off um, so now I'm trying to get my hair back to where it was and it's kind of taking a while and now with me being pregnant everyone says like oh yeah there's a point in pregnancy where like your skin and your hair is amazing I've yet to reach that point <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna have to tough it out until it just does it on its own naturally I guess One section is done. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. Like I said, this iron, I keep saying iron. <laughs> this uh, straightener makes it so much easier and quicker to straighten your hair. I didn't realize how far out I had you guys. I apologize. So you, now you can actually see what I'm doing.
probably should have mentioned, um, I'm trying to remember what this straightener, like the temperature that it goes up to. I have it set on 450, which I know is kind of high. Um, you could do whatever works for you. This is what works for me. Otherwise my hair just doesn't straighten as well and it takes a lot more passes through my hair to get it to um, straighten out nicely. So again, don't drag me for it being so high, but that is what works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this side and then I will see you guys when I start this side. So this is one side finished. As you can see, there's a big difference. I'm actually surprised it came out so well. Um, just because, like I said, my hair gets real tricky when it comes to heat and straightening it. <coughs> straightening it. Um, Cause it usually will start to frizz or wave like right away. But so far it looks good. Hopefully it stays this way. But now I'm gonna move on to the side. I've already sectioned off um, the piece or the portion that I'm gonna be working with and then tied off the rest in the back. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to see a little better <laughs> from this side. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this side and then I will be right back to show you guys the finished product. All right, so there you have it. This is the finished product. Um, it only really took me, I'd say, like maybe an hour and that's because I was trying to film and make sure I had the right angles and all that at the same time. Um, it usually takes me about like maybe 45 minutes. I've gotten a lot better at it over the years. <laughs> it used to take me a lot longer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and were able to pick up some tips that you didn't know before. Um, like I said, I will link everything down below or at least the main products that I use down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.